Welcome in to Alta High School for Alta High Basketball, presented by Opal Luxury Services on the Rewind Sports Network as Alta resumes Region 6 play as they prepare to host the Olympus Titans. Thank you for joining us, everyone. My name is Dane Stewart. Please be joined by Hector Marquez. Olympus, Alta, two teams that, Hector, I think a lot of people figure factor into 5A this year. I think that Alta and Olympus should be in the final four, depending on seeding. You just never know with the RPI, but I wouldn't be surprised if these two teams face off in the final. Well, we'll start with the visiting Olympus Titans. You're right. I think this is a team positioned to make it to a semifinal. Had a surprising loss in region. They lost to Highland in overtime. It was a heck of a ball game. Came up very short, but they've been fantastic nonetheless. You look at a guy like Dutch Dowdell, 24 points per game. Jordan Barnes, who set the state record for most assists in a career. And Reef Smiley, who's been fantastic. It's a triple-headed uh, offensive attack for the Olympus Titans this year. I think you're absolutely right. I mean, they have the pieces to play with anybody. They actually match up decently here with Alpha, which is hard to say. Um, Will Blank has been playing really well for Olympus. Uh, Gavin Lowe, kind of an unsung hero here. He's probably going to match up with Ace. I know he, he took most of the duties when they played in state last year. Um, it kind of keeps Jordy um, a little bit more fresh, not having to chase Ace yeah. around. Um, but yeah, this Olympus team is pretty loaded. That'll be key because they're not really deep. They're dealing with some injuries. they got to stay fresh. And so how do you keep those scores fresh? That's great insight. Meanwhile, for Alta, this is a loaded lineup. they got more than just three scores. you got Carter Doliak, who's been on a tear as of late. Jackson Johnson, the future Utah U, averaging 17 and 8. And then, of course, the Riser brothers, Ace and Dash, make this whole thing work. It's a loaded lineup for Coach Orn. You know what? And Doliak's going to be the... The difference maker here, as is Carter Goodfellow and Bo Compton. Those guys do what coaches need players to do in order to win the championships. Here we go. Alta in the home whites, Olympus in the road greens. We've got the blackout here for the student section at Alta High School. Alta ball to start. Worked around to Goodfellow. Carter coming off that screen, gives here with Dash. And keep an eye on the high low. Uh, depending on what kind of defense Olympus is in, but Jackson Johnson and Doliak high low has, has been stellar this year. That was a good look for Doliak out of the corner, just rimmed out as Olympus gets that first stop. Low. Oh, nice entry in here to Smiley. They're being very intentional early. Smiley trying to wrap around. First points of the game for Reef Smiley. That was a great move. It was a great move. I'm actually curious how Reef does against this Alta team in the block is Jackson Johnson's three off target. Oh, Dutch Shadell just slowed up a bit. And the one thing that Al Olympus does really well is run. Um, they, they excel in the fast break. Uh, if Alta could slow them down a little bit, it, it would help them out, but Olympus' bread and butter is going up and down the floor. It's two styles that really figure into each other well. It'll be interesting to see as Goodfellow works inside, starting with his first field goal. Can Alta force turnovers and get on the run against Olympus? That'll be a real big key in this one tonight. Absolutely. Lo, you talk about him in the open. A fantastic sophomore, had a great freshman year. Dowdell, nice little hesitation move. As Johnson gets the better end on the block. That was a good move. He probably should have gone up the first time. Oh. Riser filling the lane. Ace Riser getting out to their first lead. That movement off the ball is 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 uh is something that Alto is really good at. They never stop offensively and defensively. It's the most intense team that I've seen all year this year. And, and that's why they match up so well because Olympus is the same way. Yeah, nice take there by Barnes. You're right. As Jordy showing, he's got some three point to his game, but he can also work on the block. And I'm, I'm surprised that Jordy is guarding Jackson. So I'm assuming Travis will take notes of this, Coach Orn. But, yep. Nice eyes. Right back to Doliak. Nice two-man game there. Here's Dowdell back with Jordy. Everything's in range for Jordan tonight. Getting a little bit of space here extended in this zone. They work in, blocked 
knocked away. Jackson Johnson underneath with the denial. And that's the one thing that helps out in the zone is even though Olympus is moving the ball and putting him in a bad position, is you got a guy like Jackson Johnson that could defend the rim like that. I mean, you can you can move guys around. I was actually curious because Olympus has been very five out over the years, and so would they go that way tonight? They do, but you have that zone and allow Jackson to just defend the rim. It'd be a good equalizer for this Alta D. Will Blank has come on the floor for the Titans. And he's a kid that can shoot. Jordy for three, just a touch strong, rebounded by Johnson. Jackson in transition, end to end off the glass. First points for Jackson Johnson tonight. Yeah, Jackson's Johnson's ability to grab and go is, is elite. And boy, that's a nice skip pass over to Lowe, but hard contact there on the closeout by Dash. And that's one thing if you're Olympus, you don't want to see is Gavin a little slow to get up. It's not a real deep Olympus team. They need their guys to be able to stay in this one, stay healthy. Boy, you Almost can see. Almost looks like you got a Charlie horse. Yeah. Boy, you can, you can see that young man has some lower body strength to him. Yeah, Gavin Lowe knows where the weight room is over at Olympus. Yes, he I'll does. Tell you that. And he's got three free throws here. His first one, no good. Yeah, like I was saying, Jackson, when he turns into the point guard, it really makes out a lot more dangerous because now you have to defend Doliak on the post and you have to defend the Riser brothers on the wings and then you have Carter who's really good in the corner. I mean, that's, that's just tough. One more here for Lowe, makes two out of the three. Our clock's just a little ahead. We're just going to hold up, let the game clock catch up. This, this is Riser. Just want to let you know the clock you see on your screen, unofficial. At times we do this just to try to keep it trued up with the official clock here in the building. About 4.35 left to go in this opening quarter. Ace on the drive, right to the rim. Oh, nice finish. Two more for Ace as it's a 10-6 lead. Skipped over, Dowdell. And that lost out. Here's Johnson, well, that's, that's a long three. No. Dash with the offensive board. Doliak. Johnson. Nice little juke there by Dash. Won't go. Boarded by Barnes. Jordy for three. Long. There's some cool shooting from long range here in this first quarter. And a traveling violation. Back in play here with Alta. Here's Doliak. Oh, nice. Ace Riser once again. Six early points here for Ace. 12 6, the advantage now for Alta. Jordy. Looks like Alta's back into a man. Oh, he traveled. Ooh. Nearly lost that pivot. Kicks to Dowdell. Blank trying to get the offensive board. Good fellow scrapping around. And that one, last touch by Olympus. Two forty to go. Both teams are struggling a little bit from the outside here, but yeah. they're not shy about letting them go. Yeah, I'm surprised. Alta's a team is almost 40% from long range. 
I haven't shot that way early on. Olympus hasn't either. I mean, we got we to gotta look at this like a heavyweight fight. They're kind of feeling themselves right. out here. Well, that's a tough step back there for Jackson Johnson. Wow. Good start here for Alta, 14-6. Alta back in the man. Here's Blank. Everything outside here for Olympus. Dowdell trying to split it, can't. Dash on the run. Oh, and just let Ace out of bounds. Out of bounds, Olympus basketball. And substitution, Bo Compton coming on the floor here for the Hawks. His good fellow will get a breather. Bo brings a lot of energy to the floor. Do not be surprised if, if Alta extends things here. Important last kind of, what, 100 seconds for the Titans as they're trying to hang around in this first quarter. This game was four apiece, been a 10-2 run by Alta. Barnes defended by Compton. That's a Dowdell. Corner three won't go. Offensive board by Lowe. And a loose ball foul here going to be called on Alta. And this will be on Bow. First on Compton. Olympus is doing really well on the offensive on the offensive they glass. Are. Here's Dowdell, the three, short. Olympus can't find it early. Here's Ace, in for Johnson. Oh, that's gotta be nice, doesn't it? How about that little fade away? Won't go for Jackson. This is where Olympus has to push, especially when Jackson's down on the ground. Yeah, final minute of the first quarter. Step back three for Barnes, no. Ace works to Compton. Long, low, now trying to establish a fast break opportunity. Blocked from behind, and Ace with it. To Dash for three. A handles ice cream, three-pointer from Dash Riser makes it a 17-6 out to lead. It's about time one of those fell for either team there. Yeah. We were in a scoring drought for a while. It's the first three of the game. We've probably had 12 taken. At least. Final 10. Here's Jordy. Doliak, boy, physical defensively. Final seconds, two on the clock. Jordy at the horn, off the window, won't go. And that'll do it. First quarter in the book. All Alta, 17-6, the Hawks leading Olympus. You're watching Alta High Basketball on the Rewind Sports Network, presented by Opal Luxury Services. Welcome back. Alta High Basketball is presented by Opal Luxury Services. If you have marble countertops and you don't want to worry anymore about stains or etching, contact Opal Luxury Services and see how their state-of-the-art stone sealer technology can change your life forever. Visit them online or on social media at Opal Luxury Services and at Opal Luxury Services. Dot com. Start of the second quarter, Dane Stewart, Hector Marquez, 17-6, the advantage for Alta. Hector, cold shooting for Olympus, haven't been able to get the ball inside. What do you do to try to get the offense going if you're the Titans? Well, the hard part is, is that they are trying to get Dutch some looks, but Alta is just all over, all over Dutch. I mean, when you got a 6-9 wing guarding you, no matter, I mean, Dutch is 6-6, it's just hard to get that shot off. Um, they just need to run him around a little bit more, maybe have him set screens and, you know, maybe they'll get a switch and, uh, you know, he'd get that, get under balance and get that shot off. Um, but yeah, they just got to move the basketball around and just trust that their offense is going to do what it does. Here's Jordy. Send to the corner. Blank trying to work baseline. That's good D there by Compton, forces it back up. And a foul here is going to be on the floor well before the shot. As this will go on Matt McKay, that'll be his first. The one thing I like about that foul is that even though the defender didn't know who was down there, Jackson was up top, so there was nobody protecting the rim. So no easy buckets. 
Here's Dowdell. Coming off a big game. He had 34 in the win against Brighton and Dutch with his first points there on the nice two at the rim. That's a tough layup right there. Yeah. Just to give a little bit of context, Olympus beat Brighton 92-85. Dutch hit seven threes, 34 points, and he's got just two off of that made bucket there. I'm talking about the uncustomary shooting as Dutch with the board now on the run. That poked away from behind by Johnson. And that's where this length of Alta, whether it's denial on the passes or those wraparounds, the length causes a lot of problems for opposing offenses. It does, and, and like I mentioned earlier, Olympus and the fast break is tough. They just haven't been able to get loose, but they have the right idea. That, you know, just the ball moves a little bit faster when you pitch it up the court. Eli Mayfield is checked in for the Titans. The 6'5 senior, see if he can give them a little more length. That is Johnson with the steal. Jackson. Oh, what a play by Dowdell. Knocking it off the rim of Jackson. It'll be Olympus basketball. I like the way this game is being officiated. They're letting them play a little yeah, they bit. Are. There's a few missed calls here and there, but like it, the flow of the game is really good, especially yep. with these two teams. Two really good teams playing each other right now. We've had just three fouls and no timeouts taken. It's been up and down, been a great pace first half. Inside, Smiley, young man's been fantastic this year, just under 20 a game. Dowdell, offensive foul. Oh, what a play by Ace Riser, able to draw the first on Dutch. He's got to, he's got to shake that off. He's going to be okay. Uh, one thing, with, if you didn't watch it in the last play, uh, Jackson Johnson is chasing the shooter, and he is right on the back pocket of Dutch chasing him, and that's what you got to do to stop shooters. Just get on their back pocket and just chase them. That way they don't get any any space. Compton right back to McKay who set the screen and that just wouldn't go. Matt McKay here will work to the line as he's got a pair of D to D millionaire free throws coming up. Low called for his first. Did you say DVD free throws? D to D millionaire. If you're in the home service industry and looking to break revenue records in 24, door to door can help you do it. Lenny Gray, author of the D to D millionaire books and his team can customize a D2D &D program. Schedule a free consultation by going to LennyGray.com. I thought you meant Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> no. That's maybe because I work at a middle school. Yeah. <laughs> Different kind of D2D, &D, right? Yep. <laughs> McKay misses them both. Dutch for three. No. Jordy there defensively as Ace will pull this back out. Ace has to be one of the best point guards in the state of keeping his dribble no matter what. Even if he is just 5'11", huh? I think Ace is a Division I point guard. I don't care how, high, how tall he is. This is where some of the nuance of recruiting just bugs me to death. It's like the kid can play. I mean, I, I get it. You know, the taller the better, but... That doesn't mean I have to like it. You, you can't you can't teach what that kid knows. No. Substitutions here for Alta. Papke on the floor. Dash on the floor. Goodfellow on the floor. Doliak and Johnson rounded out for Alta. Barnes Some defended speed. by Papke. When Alta's switching everything, it, it makes it tough to get open on those threes, but they can get a mismatch down low. Little backdoor by Smiley, denied. The rim protection's been great for Alta. Here's Dash, worked around. Both teams play similar defense. They, they switch when they have to and fight through the screens when they... Carter Doliak with the handles, ice cream, three-pointer. It's 20 to eight, Alta. He's been playing so well. He's, he's another kid who I think's recruiting should uh, increase here this year. I saw a school out looking at him the last time I was here. They had to be pleased with his effort. He was our player of the game. Yeah, he's, he's big. He can shoot it a lo lot better than he did last year. Um. Smiley will take that three, won't go. Dowdell, uh, good heady play there by Dutch. Get the defender in the air, recognize you've got an open bucket. 
couple of stops here, they could make it a single digit, single digit game here. Yeah. Ace, or excuse me, Dash sends back to Doliak. Carter. Ooh. There's some handles for you. In with Jackson. Yep. Oh, Barnes thought he had it. He'll be called here for his first personal. You could hear the crowd getting a little, a little agitated because uh, he tried to wrap him up earlier when the ball was near, but I, they're probably thinking he didn't go for the ball. Probably fortunate Jackson missed that shot. Two at the line here on the DDD Millionaire free throws as Johnson makes the first. Jordy wasn't trying to hurt anybody there. They're AAU teammates and good friends. One for two there. Wow. Dowdell, that three wouldn't go. Tap up, no good for Mayfield. Smiley just short off the front of the rim. Three looks there for Olympus, none of them go. All good, too. They've had some good looks, you know. And then this is where their, their role players have to step up from the outside. Well, that's a long three from Dash. Papke able to find Goodfellow to the rim. Moving without the basketball can open up a lot of offense. And now we've got a timeout taken by Olympus. 23-10. Welcome back. Out to High Basketball presented by Opal Luxury Services. Want to remind you, if you've got marble countertops, Opal Luxury Services can take care of your concerns about staining and etching. You'll never have to worry about stains and etching again. Visit them online at opalluxuryservices.com. Mention this ad to receive $200 off. Let's see what Olympus dials up here. Here's Barnes back to Dowdell. With, with Jackson off the floor here, Dutch can get a shot off a lot easier. They're in a zone. Oh, nice job. Smiley there. Right at the junction trying to break down that 2-3. Maybe Smiley can get it going here for Olympus. Yeah. They need a run here over these final two plus minutes. If nothing else, just get some confidence going to the locker room. Yeah, I mean, I don't remember the last time an Olympus team has not made a three and a half. It's, it, you know, I'm not sure, but it seems like they haven't hit one this half. They have not hit one this half, and our research team has not found an answer to that yet in terms of the last time that they did not hit a three and a half. Here's Dash for three. So clean, it barely moved the net. Another handles ice cream three for Dash Riser. Barnes rejected by Goodfellow. And now Jackson Johnson checking back in. So that was a short-lived uh, 30 seconds with no rim protector, and they still get a block. And he's Thanks. back in there. Yep. <laughs> oh, nice. Right back to the inbounder. Jordy. Good finish. Jordy is, is very crafty. Carter Doliak, an open look. Off the mark. They got to go. They got to go. You got both guys open on the on the right wing. Jordy. He's looking for Dowdell. Trying to thread it. Mayfield keeping it alive. One more. Extra pass. Barnes uncontested from long range. There's the first Olympus three-pointer hit by Jordan Barnes. I didn't even know Olympus brought a, a fan, a they, fan base until that three. Yeah, they filled in, but we hadn't heard from them all half. That one last touch by Olympus. No officials here. Okay, yeah, they agree. Our clock is a little off here. I'm gonna hold it, hold it up a little bit to catch up. Look at that season vet right here, huh? <laughs> 44 seconds left in the half. Here's Johnson, defended by Gavin Lowe. Hard to stop that. Seven for Jackson. 
Shot clock turned off here for the remainder of the half. I think Gavin knows his height, <laughs> yeah. even though the crowd's reminding him here. But And, and I don't think anyone had it. Hey, Gavin, we're going to have you go stop Jackson. Sometimes you just get in that situation, right? I'm pretty sure that wasn't in the scouting report. Let's put our smallest guy on their biggest guy. Low. Out of the corner. Kicks out. Extra pass. They won't get it off. The out to D closes out the half just like they played the entire half. 28-17. Man, the way that they've been rotating has been impressive. I mean, you got a rim protector down low. I mean, Doliak is moving very well laterally. Their guards are so fast. I mean... Uh, Olympus hasn't played their best, but I, I think we're going to see a lot, uh, a better half from them this, this, the second half. I think they, it almost seemed like they were a little jittery, but they're, they're getting it going. Well, we'll see what they have in store. Coach Barnes has nine minutes to figure it out. Halftime here at Alta. And we'll be back. You're watching Alta High Basketball on the Rewind Sports Network, presented by Opal Luxury Services. Welcome back. Alta High School, Alta leading Olympus 28-17 in the battle for Region 6. Dane Stewart, Hector Marquez with you. Hector, we were talking in the break. It's been a long time since Olympus has only scored 17 and a half. This out to D has been locked and loaded tonight. I mean, Olympus has multiple players on the on the court. They can court, score 17 and a half by themselves. Um, but you know what? This is going to prepare them moving forward regardless of the outcome. A little adversity here is going to help, you know, Dutch figure some things out. Jordy figure some things out. Um, but I expect a different Olympus to come out here. But at the same time, I know Alta is expecting that as well. So we'll see what gives. Olympus will have to find something. This is crazy. I was doing my research, and Alta has not lost multiple region games since the 2019-2020 season. If they lose tonight, it'd be two region losses. It's not the end of the world for Olympus. It's just not a scenario they encounter very often. And yet, the way that first half went, they're going to have to find something. It will be out the ball to start this second half. What does it impress you most about what we saw from Alta in that first half? I, I just think it's, you know, what what Carter Doliak's doing, what Carter Goodfellow's doing. They, they just move so well. I mean, you got Jackson scoring over four guys. And even that, I mean, you get Jackson the ball, middle of the paint. Uh, there's just no one who can defend that as he's up to nine now. I mean, even if he catches that with one hand and he kicks it out to someone, I mean, they're going to hit a three. Right. Uh, it, it, so, it, Alta just plays the right way, and it starts at the defensive end. Yep. Here's Barnes, kicks out three from Dowdell. He has not found his touch tonight. Talk about the seven threes and the win over Brighton. He has not hit one yet tonight. Dane, do you think you could find your touch of Jackson Johnson no. starting you? No, no. And even that last play, Jackson, it's two hands up. And how about Jackson Johnson hitting a three? Five points to start this third quarter. 12 in the game after the handles ice cream three. Oh, great move by Jordy there. Kind of got stuck under the basket. Mayfield handing back. You know the thing I love about Jackson Johnson, too? He's never like, give me the ball. It's like, hey, I'll fit into the offense however I can fit in tonight. And takes his role with a lot of pride, plays it very well, but is never like, I'm going to insert myself. Ooh, that one looked like it was going to go. <laughs> but, oh, and a hard foul here. There was a foul on the tap out as they got tangled up and to the floor. And Doliak called for the foul, and we still have a player down. As you can hear contact there on the floor, and Coach Oren saying, sounded like we might have a head to the floor situation. I'm trying to see who that is. It might be Mayfield who's down. I think it is. We're going to step aside here as they have a look at Eli Mayfield. We'll be back. From commercial to recreational truck accessories, Mountain Land Truck Outfitters has got what you need. Flatbeds, spray and bed liners, lifts and leveling kits, wheels and tires. Mountain Land Truck Outfitters proudly uses a brand you know and trust. And with our experienced, knowledgeable, and friendly staff, your visit here will be informative and enjoyable. Stop into our convenient location in Provo at 265 South 100 West or call 801-225-4637 to get a quote for your fleet or individual truck. Mountain Land Truck Outfitters. Welcome back. Eli Mayfield was able to stand up and walk his way off. They're having to look at him on the floor. Certainly, whenever you talk about head injuries, 
you want to be conscientious and concerning. They will grant a technical here on Doliak after Mayfield got wrapped to the floor. Alta doesn't like the call, but it will be technical free throws here for Olympus. I don't understand that call because you have two players going for a loose ball. It's and they get tangled up and you're going to call a technical foul on a kid but I think the the tough part is is and this is where I don't I don't know the high school rule is Dowdell at the line hits two but you know in college you have the hook and hold and it doesn't really matter intention or within the player without but whenever you put the player in a dangerous situation you talk about you know wrangle him down to the floor and head to the floor I think that's probably concerning over the situation again I don't know the specificity they call again any any more than that as Dowdell makes them both and it's Olympus ball I don't think there was malintent but the play out of it I can understand the assessment of a technical yeah. and Carter Doliak's not a not a kid out there no to hurt anybody. no again I don't think intention's not the question as Smiley boy nice play there by Reef Smiley four point possession there for Olympus Here's Ace. The one thing that I've noticed about Alta all year, and I've watched them multiple times, is that they never really get flustered. They kind of just wait and, and see what the defense is going to give them. Oh, and that pass sailed. Jordan Barnes had a chance to add to his state record, and that one, he just threw it high. He knows it. Yeah, he almost hit one of them cheerleaders. <laughs> Probably got a technical for that, too. <laughs> Five and a half to go. Here's Doliak. Mayfield working his way back to the bench. Good to see, right? Always want players to come into games and leave games healthy. Is that knocked away by Smiley? Dowdell on the run. Dutch off the window too strong. And a loose ball foul here going to be called on Dowdell, his second. It's just hard when you're going up against a, you know, a kid that's like Doliak that's going to probably contest or block you. And yeah. It definitely makes you change the trajectory of your layup. Well, I think even the way this game started, we saw multiple blocks in that first quarter from out to at the rim. So now it's in your head, right? And you start overthinking it sometimes, and it just doesn't always turn out well. Yeah, and I mean, as, as a coach, spectator, parent, you just want your, your kid to go up, but it's hard not to... That's a think about getting blocked. Johnson, boy, so quick. I mean, Dowdell's guarding him. You've got the length on him, and yet so quick with that shot. It's like Dowdell didn't even have a shot to defend it. Nope. It's been all Jackson Johnson in this second half. He's got seven points in the third, 14 in the game. Low. Couldn't get it to go. Everything just tough for Olympus tonight. Ooh, Up the floor, pass. Doliak. That's the first run out we've seen from Alta tonight. Jackson Johnson's been watching some of these uh, NFL playoffs. That was a great <laughs> one-hander for a touchdown. Yeah. And Dowdell. Top dribble. Man, Jackson. Just denying the pass even. Oh. Feeding Doliak again. And Doliak fouled on the play. Carter Doliak will work back to the free throw lines. This foul called on Barnes, his second. Timeout, Olympus. Full timeout, we'll take it with them. You're watching Olympus Basketball on the Rewind Sports Network presented by Opal Luxury Services. Welcome back. We want to thank our sponsors of Out the High Basketball presented by Opal Luxury Services. Talk about DDD Millionaire. If you're looking to improve your sales in 2024, no one better than DDD Millionaire. And uh, visit them at LennyGray.com to schedule a free consultation. We want to thank Candles Ice Cream. Look, there's no place better place to celebrate a win or the sweetness of your life than Handles Ice Cream on 114 South and State Street next to Shields. Thanks to Handles for sponsoring Out the High Basketball. And, of course, Mighty Dog Roofing. 
As for over 20 years, Mighty Dog Roofing has provided homeowners and business owners nationwide with high quality roofing services. Give them a call at 833-MIGHTY-4 to schedule your free inspection. I think even if you lose, handles is a good idea. It's, it, yeah. You go cool off over there. If you need to celebrate or if you need to just say, hey, I need a break from what we just endured, <laughs> go to handles. I'm a big fan of the black raspberry. It's phenomenal. I, I always get the chocoholic chunk. <laughs> Anytime I, I, I get something else, I regret it. <laughs> So I, I gotta stick stick with with what works for my taste buds. Nice, Dowdell. His first three of the game, coming out of that timeout. Just gotta get some stops here. Yep. Ace. Boy, been a tough night for him offensively. He's had a couple of those drives. He just hasn't been able to see the ball get through the bottom of the net. And you got to give credit to Gavin Lowe. He's, uh, he matches him speed-wise, you know, strength-wise. Um, just Gavin Lowe hasn't been able to get loose on the offensive end. Yeah. We'll send up with Lowe. Trying to drive. Good find. Ooh, he's got to go up with that. Yeah. Blank would probably like another opportunity. Shot clock down to three. Barnes trying to shake the defense from the corner. Fouled on the three by Goodfellow. And Jordy Barnes will head to the line. That's a tough one. He already was pushing back on a step back three. Might want to let that go. Got one of, one of the best shooters on the Olympus team here. Yeah. Might be able to cut it to 10. No Barnes here, three free throws, rims out the first. That was my bad, I jinxed him. You know, you always think the broadcaster jinx is just a farce until you're a broadcaster and then you realize, no, it's legit. It's like you're trying to be insightful and say, man, this guy's a great free throw shooter. He should, and then boom. He's a great free throw shooter. He is though. a That's... great free throw shooter. Oh, we have a lane violation there. Oh, goodness. So you take the ball out of Jordy's hands on the free throw. Wow. So essentially just one for three on the trip. They've had a few trips down the floor where they've got some things going. Gotten some stops here. Maybe they can put a few more together and make out to call timeout. Yeah. Ace looking for Jackson. Reef was fronting him. Corner three. Doliak just short. And off the uh, structure there will be Olympus basketball. On, what? Just over two to go. It looks like they're, they're in the zone. Jordy on the drive. Knocked away. Good hands by Compton. The more you watch this out the team, the more you see it's the defense that just starts everything is Barnes. What a save by Jordy. Almost gave it back. Yep. There it is. Dowdell. They, they need it. They get it. Dutch Dowdell with his second three of the game. 12 now for Dutch and it's down to single digits. That's one thing you don't want to see as an Alta fan is Dutch Dowdell get wide open looks like that. Correct. And you don't want him getting confidence either because we talk about he or Jordy, everything in the building is within range. Well, I'll tell you what, you could see the look in his eyes and even his, his foot placement. He's, he's going to want to ask for that ball the next possession. Yep. Three from Goodfellow won't go. Barnes with the clear. Olympus Jordy. can make this real interesting here. Told you. Here we go. He's going to let it go. He's going to... Oh, I thought he was going to, too. <laughs> <laughs> then he saw Jackson Johnson. He's like, well... Low baseline drive. Count the bucket for Gavin Lowe. The foul on Compton. And an opportunity for a three-point play. Inside of a minute to go. They cut it to a two-possession game here. Yep. And Gavin misses. 
Rebounded by Johnson. Ace defended by Gavin. Around that screen. Oh, splitting the defense. Riser off the window too strong. Oh. Oh. They're letting him play. They have all night. And now we'll get a timeout That's taken a here by timeout. Alta. That's a great timeout. Yeah, 32 seconds left and a timeout taken here by the Hawks. 30 second timeout. There will be about a three second differential game clock to shot clock. Hector, if you're Alta right now, what are you drawing up? How important is this possession to close out the half or the third quarter? I think it's important because Olympus has kind of had their, you know, some momentum here. I, I would get something where you get Jackson Johnson to screen down for somebody uh, or, or even screen down for Doliak. Doliak a high-low. Just, you know, go back to the basis, get an easy look close to the rim, kind of stop the bleeding a little bit here. Um, and get this game back up by nine. If you're Olympus, you got to anticipate and play good on-ball defense, maybe get a steal and, and get a good look on the other end. 32 seconds left here in the third. So we'll let our clock just hang out here for a bit. There's 25 left on the shot clock. Zone look here for this Olympus D. I'd say the most important thing if you're out there is don't give the ball back to Olympus here, right? And they do. That ball out of bounds. It's Olympus basketball. 18 seconds to go. That was a great call by Olympus, switching things up on them. Uh, it looked like they weren't ready for that zone. And I uh, caught them off guard. This feels like a new game, doesn't it? It sure does. If I'm, if I'm out, uh, I'm watching where Dutch is at all time. Well, yep, there's Jackson meeting him up high. Jackson defending Dutch. Ace defending Jordy. Five seconds left. Jordan. Little turnaround. Three just short. Low the putback. Couldn't get it to go. And the Alta defense comes up with a late third quarter stop. Seven point game as we head to the fourth. You're watching out the high basketball on the Rewind Sports Network presented by Opal Luxury Services. Fourth quarter. Dane Stewart, Hector Marquez, Alta. Had a comfortable lead, double digit, but a 13-9 third quarter and Olympus trailing by seven with the, bas with the basketball to start the fourth quarter. Olympus missed a few opportunities late in that quarter. Um, I mean, they could, they could have been heading into this quarter just, just down one possession. We'll see what they dial up here. And if I'm Olympus, I, I want to try to get someone to switch. Oh, travel. I was going to say, that's where I look. Reef Smiley inside. You pull the bigs out of the paint and let Reef work. Yeah. I, I mean, you, you just got to use some of the other guys to get things going. And maybe Jackson gets stuck on the screen and then Dutch has a smaller guy on him to, to get his shots off. Three from Compton. Bo Compton hitting the Handles Ice Cream three to answer for Alta. The role players are coming through. Yeah. And, and they have all year. And that's why uh, Coach Orn has, is leaning on them here late in, in the fourth quarter in a, in a closer game than, than we had earlier. And they go right back to Reef. Back-to-back -back buckets for Smiley. How about this? This is crazy. Only one out to player in double figures, and that, that's Jackson Johnson. And, and they can win like that. They, they can. They can win with one, one guy just doing their thing. Jackson fouled on the three. Barnes will be called here for his third, and it will be Jackson Johnson to the line to take three. D to D, millionaire free throws. I know Jordy doesn't agree with it, but he had an official right in front. I, I didn't see it. It's just hard to believe Jackson can lose, <laughs> lose the ball like that. Yeah. We just want to remind you, if you're in the home industry service and looking to break revenue records in 2024, D2D can help you do it. Schedule a free consultation by going to LennyGray.com. He's the author of Door-to-Door -door Millionaire Books and can customize a D2D program for you. 
Doliak back on the floor. There's Johnson hitting his second one more here for Jackson. Two for three, pushing it to an eight-point lead. Low trying to post up. Dowdell taking the three short. Rebounded by Doliak. Trying to get the run going. That is one thing. Olympus done a great job tonight. Is he's right through the lane. His first point since the first quarter. But I was going to say, Olympus really hasn't let out to get out on the run tonight. No, they haven't. I mean, no one's been able to run in this game. Right. Dowdell, that three, no. Knocked away by Ace. As that's a 10 point difference. Yeah, the, both of these teams excel in the, in the open floor, fast break opportunities. So no, one's, no one's been able to kind of do that. It's kind of a. Yeah, if you told me we game. were going to have a 40 to 30 game in the fourth quarter, I wouldn't have believed you. I mean, Alps has been scoring 70s and 80s. I mean, Olympus is doing the same thing. Yeah. Uh, you know, but. They both have to play defense in order to win in state. It's just two well-coached teams. Yep. You know, Coach Oren comes from a, a defensive background when he came over from Bingham. You know, Bingham had one of the, the best defenses in the state. Comes over here. Alta kids have, have bought into what he's doing. You know, Coach Barnes over at Olympus. I mean, he just inherited some really good kids in the area that can shoot um today they just haven't been falling yeah and it's it's incredible because you look at this region we talk about you know uh, a matchup of teams that are just giants in their classifications but you factor in this region you also have the likes of skyline brighton highland we talked about highland beat olympus uh, earlier or, or last week this is a region that is so stacked in 5a Absolutely. Highland has the guys on the roster to beat anybody. I mean, it's just a tough region. There's three teams in this region for sure that are just, <laughs> I wouldn't want to play them in the first round. That's for dang sure. I uh, want to remind you, we'll have every Alta game for you here on the Rewind Sports Network. Next up Friday, they'll be back here at home to take on the Brighton Bengals. And you can catch that game right here at 7 o'clock on Friday on kslsports.com. Five and a half to go, fourth quarter. Ace. Loa's done a really good job on him tonight. Dash. Like, oh. Shot clock. I didn't hear the horn go off, so shot clock violation there. Didn't seem to be a lot of contest from Coach Horn. I must have just missed that. Yeah, I mean, they got the home guy on the score, on the, <laughs> <laughs> on the shot clock down there. Let him play a little bit after the clock. <laughs> Jordy works to Smiley. Kicks out. Low will take the three. Here's Dutch. Boy, such great D there, denying the entry to Barnes. Dutch stepping through, denied. Jackson Johnson again. He's got to have, well, five or six blocks He's today. He's got a number of them. Oh, and low with the rejection. Now on the run out, Gavin. Foul on the take, and Gavin Low will work to the line as Compton called for the foul. That kid has a motor on him. That's nice when you're a sophomore, right? You don't get tired. The legs are always fresh. I mean, I got tired walking up the steps here. I though. know. To join you before the game started. Getting old is overrated. Is <laughs> Alta thought Compton was pretty vertical on that. I thought he was too. But the foul called and low at the line makes the first. And sometimes it's the angle that the offensive guy's in or the defensive guy's in, even if it's not. Officials just blow the whistle on it. One for two, but that ball bouncing around before being settled by Dowdell. I'm talking about rough shooting nice tonight, not just from three. We've seen uncustomary misses at the line from both sides tonight as well. Yeah, uh, both teams are going to look at film and 
probably throw this one away. They're going to say we didn't play our best, right? 15 on the shot clock. Low trying to back down. Dash sends out. Blank will step back. The three. No. Tapped out. We'll stay here with the Titans. Yeah, this has been a tough tough shooting night for yeah. Olympus. I mean, there's still a lot of time left. Or they can make some, make a run here, but yeah, oh. doesn't seem to be their night up beyond the beyond the arc. Only three made threes tonight for the Titans. Try to kick it out. Red by Compton. And a foul here going to be picked up by Lowe. He knew it. That'll be the second on Gavin. Second team foul on Olympus. As we're past the midway point here in the fourth. Wouldn't be surprised if Alta pulls it out and runs, runs more offense. We've got a foul. No, timeout. Timeout taken here by Alta. We'll step aside. Timeout, Hawks. You're watching Alta High Basketball on the Rewind Sports Network, presented by Opal Luxury Services. Nine-point game, Alta Basketball. Two timeouts left for the Hawks. Three left for the Titans. Riser around the screen. Johnson, the long three, and he's just long on the shot. Compton with the board. A you talk about the role players tonight. They've been so good for Alta. Yep. Bo Compton, Carter Goodfellow. Um, they just they just kind of do their thing. Very unselfish team. Got Ace trying to shake low off. To Doliak. Wow. wow. That was a great finish through contact. See if Barnes can get something going. There you go. A little lefty finish there for Jordan as he's now in double figures. It's really hard to pick up out to full court because they have so many quick guards that can handle. Um, but Olympus is going to have to pick up the pressure, come out a little bit. Dash found a lane. Blank with the rejection. Oh, and Compton able to steal it back. And now fouled here by Barnes. And that'll be number four on Jordy. How about the stick to there of Bo Compton? Bo Compton seems to have this magnetic ability to go just seek that ball, bring it back. He's done a lot of things tonight that won't show up in a box score, but man, so good for Alta. In for Jackson. Triple team doesn't matter. Two more for the future Utah Ute. What is Jackson up at now? Uh, Why do you think? I've got him 18. 18. Taken away by Barnes. Hey, there's Utah State for you. Jordy with the three. His first since the second quarter. Makes it an eight-point game. Welcome back. Olympus just won't go away. Hasn't been their best game. They would acknowledge that. But they found a way to hang around here and be in a position late, be a couple plays away from potentially a big road win. That's the thing that three-point shooting teams have is that you're just a couple of shots away from being back in the game. Goodness. 48-40. Had to get that corrected there. And now a little full court pressure. And Smiley able to stay vertical there. Doliak was, was salivating. He was going to be all by himself over there for a big dunk. Yeah, we are going to get a Mighty Dog roofing dunk. <laughs> Ace fouled here. And is this on low? No, it'll be instead on Smiley, his first. I think the one guy that can't foul on this comeback here has got to be Jordy Barnes. I think he's got four. 
That was the fourth team foul on Olympus, so Alta will be shooting for the remainder of the contest. Up with Johnson. Jackson, the drive, just a touch strong. Oh, well, and it's Alton. caught in again. <laughs> that young man has been a hustler tonight for Alta. And that's why he's on the floor right now in the fourth quarter. How many possessions has he won or saved or kept? Oh. Doliak. I would say Bo Compton's probably had five or six. Jordy kicks out that three, no. Rebounded by Johnson. And that might do it as we approach one to go, 10 point difference. How about the heady play there, huh? Yep, he knew the uh, the rotation guy was coming over to the top, so he threw it over to the to the wing to his brother. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Fifty in the contest. Ace. Oh, I was hoping that'd go for Ace's sake, but there's Johnson with two more. Twenty now for Jackson. Barnes working his way to the rim. Timeout, Olympus. And that's the Jordan Bars that we've been accustomed to seeing over the years. Yeah, I mean, it almost feels like this Jordy's a fifth year senior. Seems like he's been there forever. But, um, but yeah, Jordy Barnes is really good. It's just, it's been a tough, a tough night. And that's what Alta does though. It, they possess a lot of challenges for teams and you got to hope they're off, and you're on. They've been a little bit off, but Olympus hasn't really been on like they usually are. We talk about this Olympus team coming in and what has been such a great offense. They've scored over 80, over 90, multiple games this year, and tonight they just haven't been able to find a recipe for success. In fact, they're well on pace to their lowest output of the year, which coming into tonight was 57 and a loss to Orem. Tonight, just sitting at 42 with one possession left to go. Yeah, they'll, they'll figure it out. And uh... Doliak, two more. The best thing for Alta is, I'm uh, sorry, for Olympus is that they'll get Alta again at home. So they'll have another shot at him. Yep. Dowdell able to hit the three. An immediate timeout taken by Olympus, their last. As, you know, a lot of people get frustrated in these situations. Why are you taking a timeout? The game's over. They're still coaching. This is still situational, 10 seconds left. You might hit a point where, hey guys, we're down one possession. We gotta come up with a steal and get a bucket. This is an opportunity to execute that. Absolutely, and, and Alta and Olympus, they probably practice this, right? They put it on the clock at practice. But you don't get the same kind of intensity. Right. You don't get the crowd. You don't get the jitters. Um, it, uh, the intensity of a real game situation to work on something here. Um, so you can't get too mad. Everyone's yeah. just trying to get better. Yep. Next up for Olympus, they'll take to the road or stay on the road to take on East. Be an opportunity for them to find that offensive rhythm again that has not been there tonight. And give a lot of credit to this Alta D. And Obviously, 10 seconds away from Alta improving to 5-0 and in region, 16-1 and on the season. Got to get it in. They do with Doliak and fouled here in the backcourt with nine to go. We talked about Doliak to kick off the night. 13 points for Carter and a chance for two more here at the line. I wouldn't be surprised if he's got a double-double. I wouldn't be surprised if Bo Compton's got 10, 11 rebounds himself. Doliak good on the first. Johnson and Doliak, the only out to scores unofficially in double figures tonight. As Doliak hits them both. I would assume this is the last possession we see here. Barnes from the volleyball line, just wide, rebounded by Doliak, and that'll do it. The Alta Hawks 
jump out to an early lead, fend off an Olympus surge, and walk out with a 56-45 win. Hector, your final thoughts and a selection of a player of the game. I think that we haven't seen the best of both of these teams. Olympus hasn't peaked yet. I don't think Alta has peaked yet. Um, player of the game. I mean, I, I thought Bo Compton did really well, some good things, but Jackson Johnson blocking shots, scoring over three, four different defenders, double teams, triple teams, outside, inside. I, I got to go with Jackson Johnson. Big night for Alta. Uh, this was, in my mind, matchup of two of the best teams in this region. Highland is in that mix as well. But Alta with a definitive win at home, 56-45. Jackson Johnson, our player of the game. Want to thank Mighty Dog Roofing, Handles Ice Cream, DDD Millionaire, and of course Opal Luxury Services for their sponsorship of Alta High Basketball on the Rewind Sports Network. For Vince Francis, my name is Dane Stewart. And for Hector Marquez, thanks for joining us. Come back, join us Friday night as the Olympus, or as the Alta Hawks prepare to host the Brighton Bengals. That game will be 7 o'clock right here on kslsports.com. Good night, everybody. We'll see you next time for Alta High Basketball on the Rewind Sports Network.